Hi Alexander Graham Bell Bulldogs, my name is Matt and I'm a paleontologist. I know that you guys were just studying dinosaurs, so you probably already know that a paleontologist is someone that studies fossils. And I get to study fossils at Stony Brook University, which is all the way on the other side of the country from you in New York. And here at Stony Brook, we have a whole lot of fossils, which means we have a whole lot of paleontologists. A group of us are going to get together and answer questions that you guys have from working on dinosaurs. But because there are lots and lots of fossils, it means there are lots and lots of people who study different parts of different animals. And so the three of us hopefully can answer as many of the questions you guys have about fossils. So if you'll follow me this way, I'm going to introduce you to two other paleontologists who work with me here at Stony Brook. Hi, my name is Adam Pritchard. I'm a paleontologist and I study animals that lived before for the dinosaurs did over 200 million years ago. My favorite dinosaur is Tyrannosaurus rex. But my favorite fossil animal that's not a dinosaur is something called a monkey lizard. I'll tell you a little about that when we meet. Hi, my name is Jennifer and I'm a paleontologist. I study crocodiles. Crocodiles have a lot of species that are not living today and some look a lot like the ones you might see living today, but some look completely different and it's really interesting to look at how they've changed over time. I study fossils of mammals. So there's a whole bunch of dinosaurs, there's crocs and all this stuff. And I study the fuzzy guys who are also living during the age of dinosaurs. So when summer vacation comes around, I get on a plane and I fly out west to New Mexico, which is a state that has lots of big red deserts. And I dig for dinosaurs there. I spent many years working at a natural history museum in Florida, and I had the opportunity to go look for fossils at a few sites in Florida, but also in Panama. So I looked for fossils along the Panama Canal. But a lot of my research actually takes place in museums. It's amazing what you can discover in collections. So I've actually gotten the chance to look for dinosaurs when I was working with people who were also looking for dinosaurs in Wyoming and in Madagascar, which is near Africa. But I've also gotten to look for mammals in places like Montana and in Egypt. So right now I'm standing in one of the classrooms here at Stony Brook, because just like you guys, we have to learn too. We have classrooms with chalkboards, with tables, with chairs, because we don't know about all of the dinosaurs and fossils around the world, and we need people to teach us about those too. So classrooms are a really important part of being here at Stony Brook. We'll be talking to you from a museum we have here at Stony Brook. When most people think of museums, they think about skeletons and displays. Uh, with labels and information. But museums are also very important as libraries where they store specimens that scientists can use to study them. So follow us now to the museum. So this is a bit of the skeleton of an animal called Majungasaurus, which would have been a vicious carnivorous dinosaur, kind of like T-Rex, probably about the size of a minivan, so a little bit smaller, and with even shorter arms. This is Simasuchus, a relative of crocodiles. You can see it doesn't look very much like a modern crocodile. It has a short nose and leaf-shaped teeth, probably to eat plants. Not all paleontologists study dinosaurs. Some study the fossils of bugs, some study things like mammals, which really become impressive after the dinosaurs go extinct 66 million years ago. And so this animal, for instance, is a primate, which means it's like a relative of monkeys, and that includes us. So this animal is called Egyptopithecus. His eyes would have been here and here. And he's from a site in Egypt where I've gotten to go and actually dig for fossils. So this is another little dinosaur named Rahunavis. And Rahunavis actually would have looked a lot like a bird. He would have had long wings on his arms and lots of feathers all over his body. But, in a lot of ways, he still looks like a raptor dinosaur like Deinonychus. He's got a big sharp claw on his toe, just like that. He's got big sharp claws on his hands. And he's also got a mouthful of needle sharp teeth, too. I'd like to introduce you to a really, really early meat-eating animal called Masurosector, who's from Egypt. And he's a tiny animal that would have been like a chihuahua. It's a meat-eating animal. And no one else has looked at this skull except for me and the people who were there studying it. And now you. So this is a new animal for paleontologists to study. This is Majungasuchus. It lived at the same time as Simasuchus, the little short-nosed crocodile you just saw. And you'll notice that this looks a lot like the crocodiles we see today, but it has these big teeth, a big wide nose, that look kind of like a toilet seat. 
So we've all been really interested in fossils and dinosaurs for a really long time. But in order to become a paleontologist, we had to do a lot of reading and a lot of studying, and we all had to do really well in school in order to actually work with dinosaur fossils. And that's something that you guys can do too. And so it all starts with asking really fun, good questions. So we hope that you guys have some really good ones ready for us when we get to talk to you. I'm Adam. I'm Jennifer. I'm Matt. And we'll see you soon.